Hi and welcome back and I think the next thing that we want to do is let's go ahead and put in some curtains um, some theater fab you know theater drapery maybe we'll put in a valance and we'll put in a grand drape um, and then maybe even some other ones and I'll show you how to do that real quick so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over and go back into our top plan view yep and there are all our little seats now the reason these first two pipes are open is that we need a pipe to uh, basically a border here on our very first pipe and our next pipe is going to be the grand drape or the drape that would travel from left to right so let's do our grand or our, um, the first border or a valance it's, it's called a valance so the obviously the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to classes right and I am going to make a class I called mine I put it inside of masking right so I have masking and let's call it lifted valance and I'm even going to make that current and I will show you edit what it looks like again we don't the the um, the symbol is going to bring all of its graphic attributes so we don't really need to apply a fill color or um, give it any specific thickness or a pen style we could just um, let it all be its defaults with a fill color of none all I want to do is be drawing on that class so I've selected it here I'm going to say OK now in my event design tool palette which is right here I have um, a curtain tool or soft goods tool and if I hover over my soft goods tool right it'll give it its little label and again just like the other one if I double click it I get options this is my soft goods options right so as I work down I'm gonna be installing a border so let's see if we have an option here I do I have a border its height I don't need it to be 24 feet in this instance I'm gonna want it to be 6 feet and if we scroll down we know that our battens are 42 feet wide so I, and that's already there by default but you may need to type it that our um, curtain is going to be 42 feet wide and this looks pretty good we'll say OK and now if I click on it once I now am in the tool and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to the end of that first pipe and I really do want to click right in the middle of the pipe click there I'm zooming out that was a click and release and now I'm going to zoom into the other end of the pipe and I'm going to click again now to end this tool you just want to click on the on the on your last spot that you want it I could go off and make more curtain but I don't want to so my third click is right on top of that and you'll see that my curtain my little wavy line for my curtain showed up just behind the pipe I don't know why it does that why it's not right underneath of it but it's okay right so now let's just do a little fly around and if we did a little fly around you'll see that that's great except for my curtain is on the floor open GL right so there's my curtain and it's on the floor the way to fix that is to have the curtain selected and what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a bottom trim you could also give it a top trim right now it's top trim is at um, six feet or you could give it a bottom trim of 18 feet we know our pipes are at 24 feet so let's change our top trim to say 24 feet and that will lift our border up we'll do a little fly around and look at it from backstage and you'll see that we've lifted that border right up onto that pipe the instructions that I gave you on the um, <clears throat> on the cut on the sheets actually said to raise the bottom trim to 18 feet either way is fine however you raise it up so that it connects with that pipe it's a six foot border 18 feet to the bottom plus six equals 24 you can go either way that it works all right so that is our border now why don't we go ahead and build our main drape right or the curtain that's going to block out the stage let's 
go back to our top plan view. <clears throat> let's go back and double click our options for so on our soft goods tool. And this time we're going to change it from a function. We're going to say it wants to be a curtain. Its height, our pipes are 24 feet, so let's make a 24 foot curtain. 24 foot curtain. And uh, uh, turn my phone off. Then the other thing that we want to do is. Um, we need to go down and we're going to say that we want this curtain to be able to open from the center. Yours may say none. Just do the pull down there and say you want it to open from center. And you want a stock drapery width of 42 feet, which is the width of our pipe. And I'll say OK. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Zoom in to the end of my second pipe. And I'll click there. And now I'm zooming, click and release, come over to the other end of the pipe and click and release. And then I'm going to click again right there to end that tool. And you'll see that that curtain has just shown up, right? Now, if we also come over and look at it, you'll see that it's got a little one foot gap in the middle. Let's do a fly around and see what we get, right? I can see it already in just wireframe mode. Let's do an OpenGL so that we can see it. OpenGL, right? And so there's my curtain. <clears throat> it goes all the way to the floor. It extends all the way up to the top of the pipe, right? So it's a really nice looking little curtain right there. Now, we have some options that we can do right now. We had set that center opening to only be one foot. We can change that. We could just go scroll down in the object with the curtain selected, scroll down in the object info, and let's change that width, and let's say open 10 feet. And magically the curtain opens 10 feet. <clears throat> I forget our proscenium opening, sure, um, but let's say, I don't know, 30 feet. That looks pretty good, right? So now our grand curtain is open. I'm going to show you one more thing. You can see our valance is up here. Our grand curtain is behind that. You can see how it looks from the back. Really easy, fast way to do legs. Black is a boring color for our grand drape. Maybe we would rather have a more exciting color. If I scroll down, I'm over in my object um, info palette. If I scroll down, I get, where is it? I just saw it, 3D curtain options. If I click the 3D curtain options, right, I would like it to be type opaque, but I can choose the color. And I can go down, I don't know, can we find a nice crimson, right? Maybe a crimson color and say, okay. And look, my curtain has just gone to a crimson color. Now the color rendering of my computer is not doing so great, but let's go over and make our border the same way. I just selected my border and I hit 3D curtain options. And I want to say it was that color. I almost forget and say, okay, uh, that was not the same color. <laughs> I'll go back over and see if I can maybe this one and say, OK. No, nope, I'm still missing. I forget which one I selected. If you do them both together, you can do them. You, they'll, they'll work out. That one's the right one, I think. Right? And so now we have, I still don't think I did that color matching right. <laughs> but anyway, you can see that you can change the color of your curtains. Now. Use the same process to add um, black legs and borders, right, further upstage. And the, way, the place where the black legs and borders are going to go are going to go right in front of our electrics pipes. Let's go to a top plan view. So if this is our next electric pipe, we're going to want a border here and a leg here. And we can even go ahead and do that. Let's double click here. And let's say that I want a curtain type. 
of a border. I want it to be six feet. And I'll say, okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in here so I can make sure I get the center. Click there. I'll go all the way across to the other side, across to the other side, click here and click again. There's my border. I know that it is already on the floor, so I'm going to set its top trim so it touches the pipe, 24 feet, enter. <clears throat> Great. I double click here, double click and I get this option I'm gonna say curtain I want the height to be 24 feet I want it to open at the center let's say we're gonna open 30 feet open from the center and I say okay and I do the same thing I come over to the stage right side I click in the center here I come across and I click here and double and click again to end the tool. There's the border that's shown up. And let's do a little fly around. And you can now see that I've added another set of legs. Rendering, open GL, and those remain in black, which is good. Right? So this is our this is how we're able to add masking right to our little theater so that so that it, it'll hide our lighting equipment and it'll look like a stage so go ahead and add black legs and borders in front of all of the lighting pipes that we have the ones that you left a space for we just did that one we have this next lighting pipe so there would be a border here and a set of legs here and then the same thing applies up here. There would be a border here and legs here for this lighting pipe. And that concludes this series. And this is your um, homework. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.